Okay, so recipe number two. It's 4th of July. Got my uh, 4th of July t-shirt on. Um, however, we're not having hot dogs. We are having spaghetti carbonara. Uh, I don't know. It's just a thing. So some things that are really important to spaghetti carbonara. Well, I don't know how important this is, but I love the long pastas because I remember when I was a kid in Rome, we used to have contests, you know, to, to you know, twirl our pasta on the plate. And I just found this in the store the other day, and it's very unusual to find nice long pastas. So I'm going to get it. Garlic. Oh, and we're also going to make caprese salad because the tomatoes are meraviglioso, stupendo. So we're gonna have that as well. And so, this is so simple, you guys, you're just gonna love it. This is pancetta, which is Italian bacon. Um, yeah, it's a little different. It's not smoked, I think that's the big difference. You might toss pan out. Olive oil, same thing. Lots of olive oil. The secret to the sauce is sauteing the garlic in the olive oil. My very, very dear friend, Roberto Barsi, da Livorno, told me that the secret to the sauce is sauteing the garlic in the olive oil. And once you get that garlic just to the right brown, then anything you put in there is gonna be fantastic. You throw some tomatoes in there, you throw a little cream in there. And today, we're not gonna throw anything in there. We're just gonna throw the garlic and the olive oil, and we're gonna brown it. And then we're gonna pour it over the pasta. Then we're gonna crack a fresh egg, with a little bit of basil, and it's gonna be it. The, um, the pastas, with the um, olive oil sauces that have, you know, like the spaghetti con bongole with clams or, met or uh, mussels, seafood. Um, typically, they will not put, we will not put cheese in this sort of sauce. So, it's not always the case that you pile on the parmigiano. Uh, Okay, garlic looks like it's about ready. Lots of garlic, lots of garlic. It's good for you too, you know? This is absolutely not 100% in line with my, um, my science of rock star fuel, eating perfectly healthy and organic, but I will say that uh, I did make an attempt and I bought quinoa pasta, and that was gonna be my first choice. This is 4th of July, I, got, I found the long pasta, so I'll try the quinoa pasta at another time, and I bet it's, I bet it's awesome. It tastes and texture of traditional pasta, cholesterol-free and very low sodium, super grain pasta. I'm gonna give that a try when I say But today, we're going uh, for my favorite traditional super long spaghetti. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go right for these what do you say, honey? You ready for some caprese? Oh, I'm so ready for the caprese. Have a little caprese as yeah. an appetizer. Did you wash this? You know what? I'm gonna wash them just for you. We're gonna take all the natural organic dirt off the tomatoes. My friend Marina Rimini does a. She always puts her vegetables in um, a big pot with uh, baking soda. And it's amazing how much, how dirty that water gets. And uh, so, she's a real big advocate for washing your veg, soaking your vegetables in baking soda to get the grime off of it. Personally, I don't care too much about that. I don't mind a little grime. I don't like the worms. Worms? You don't know much into worms. Who are you talking about worms? I've had a worm come out of a tomato once. You did? Yeah. Ew. 
would be fun. So yeah, these tomatoes, I think, are gonna be fantastico. Huh? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yep. That's the tomato. Mm. Yep. You know? It's just not every day here in Portland, Oregon. I mean, look at that. We get top of the line tomatoes. Mm. So hard for me. Oh, that one even smells good. Mm. I'm gonna have to make a mega sauce. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah. You can smell it. There you go. Yeah. Gonna have to do some. Mm. I'll make a sauce tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is easy. Again, same thing. Olive oil. Balsamico. Oh, here we go. Get the good, get the good stuff. Just a touch. It's my favorite. Just a touch. For me, anyway, just a touch. The tomato in there. I like to turn the tomato over. Go ahead, give you another one of each. Turn the tomato over. Okay. Go get my special salt, the high energy salt my bro from the grocery store speaks so emphatically about. On some special place on our special planet. It's a little bit of salt in there. Bring out some incredible flavor. Now, some people will put the mozzarella. I like to use buffalo mozzarella. That's whatever kind of mozzarella you like. But, uh, buffalo is my choice. And, uh, so, you know, traditionally, you see this where Mozzarella will go on the tomato and then the basil will go on top of the mozzarella. But I, in fact, like to layer them because I love the basil so much. And uh, so I'll put a little bit of basil underneath them. Oh, oh that smells so good too. Just a little basil underneath the mozzarella. Just put that little extra. There you go. Okay. There you go. There's no olive oil on there. Can't have too much olive oil. Of course, there might be some who argue with that. But a little vinegar. The hell with them. It's just a touch of vinegar. I love there. vinegar. Balsamico. Just a little touch. We don't spoil the taste of the tomato now, do we? Alright. So. There you go. Caprese. Insalata caprese. And voila. Puppy right there. Oh, the garlic's cooking pretty fast. Garlic's cooking pretty fast. Okay, so what I'm gonna do actually is cool it down by pouring a little bit more olive oil in there because it's cooking too fast. Cooking too fast. All right, so now what are we gonna do? One of these. And gotta put the water on. Just gonna set that aside, let that garlic simmer until our water is boiled, ready for our pasta. And there we go. Here we go. 
and see that our caprese salads while the water is boiling and then we'll get to the rest of it. Okay, oh, I'm gonna put the, I have to make sure I put the bacon in because this pancetta takes a little while to cook. Make sure that I don't mess that up. As I told you, I'm still new at this cooking game and timing, my God, timing is such a deal. I still got a ways to go. I think that's why they go to cooking school. It's not so much to learn the recipes, it's to learn how to do them in the right timing so that you don't burn crap. Okay, so, get the pancetta going, put a little olive oil in there because I just love it. And uh, make myself a caprese salad to eat with my wife. Then put a little bit of balsamico in there. Alright, take my tomato. Give a little bit of juice on the, both the sides of the tomato, tomato. How do you say that in Italian? Pomodoro. Tomato? Pomodoro. Pomodoro. In Italian you say tomato. What's the matter with you? You don't know nothing, huh? Oh, I forgot to put my basil underneath, so you got me off excited. There we go. There we go. Some mozzarella. A little more base. A little more olive oil. Okay. A little bit of the balsamico. I forgot the salt. That's okay. Because we're organic and we're cooking as we are inspired. And every dish is different. Okay, baby. Let's have a caprese. Okay, guys. See you in a while. A press. So, no, no, let's no. Let's see the taste test from the Miss Debbie Rosas. Check it out. Taste test. Taste test. Okay, hold on. I gotta get a, get a little bit of everything here. Yeah, that's right. That's important, okay. thing, right? A little bit of everything. Mmm. Mmm. Huh? You know what? It's got like a, a little bit of a sweet flavor. Is that the oil you bought? Mmm, it's delicious. Um, mm. No, I, I bought the least flavored olive oil they had in well, the maybe store. Maybe it's just the tomatoes. The tomatoes so are sweet. just so like candy, eh? Ah. Uh, mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love Gotta it. I love it, huh? Mm hmm. There we go. Mmm. It's like dessert. Mm hmm. It's really I like dessert. We should almost have it after. The yeah, pasta, we could have huh? had it after. Yeah, in fact, traditionally, it's not uncommon for the Italians to really? eat their salad after their dinner. Oh my god, dinner. it's so good. Okay, so I've got the garlic all browned right here. Got the bacon all done. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there with the olive oil and the garlic. Because mm. it's all going in the same pot, right? Alright, mix that up. Flavor in there. Mmm, mmm, good. Yeah, baby. Perfectly brown garlic oil. That's the secret. It's right to the point where it's just turning brown. You gotta stop it. Once it starts tasting burnt, you don't want that. And uh, then the key to the pasta is salt. I gotta salt the hell out of this water because that gives flavor to the pasta. So, water's just getting ready to go to a boil. A little and oil? You put a little throw oil some in salt. It? I'm gonna throw some oil in there. It goes in everything. What are you talking about? That's what about? I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, now I want to throw oil in there. And uh, I've seen you put it in the bath water. <laughs> Olive oil has many uses, that's right. Put it in your hair. You look like Guido. Insta Guido. A little olive oil in the hair, maybe I should try that. Well, 
There's just no turning this Irishman into an Italian. There's no, <laughs> there's no you can do that. All of all in the, in the world's not gonna turn this this hair into. I guess maybe I could do like you know some uh, you know it's kind of the style now in Italy with the the spiky hair. But uh, you know it's good for you. What do you think? Is that an Italian? Yeah, yeah, I like you it. Know? Actually, I kind of like it. You do? You put a little under your eyes, it might help with the wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that that's true, actually. But uh, it's supposed to be really good for your cuticles. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And it's really good for your ears. You know, so if, you want, if you want to have a lot of hair growing in your ears, you put olive oil in there. It helps it grow, you know, and gets all bushy and stuff. It's just olive oil is great for everything. That's attractive. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got boiling pasta, boiling water, which means we're ready for our pasta. Our super long pasta, our romano. I mean, this is the part I always get wrong. I always get this part wrong. So I don't know how much we put in here. This feels. And rustic. This is going to be awesome. And the other thing is, I never understood why. Oh, look at they're even doubled over. This is serious. Serious pasta. Serious. What is long this? Long pasta. What kind of pasta is it? Oh, love it. Uh, okay. Ruggichella de Bruzzo. Mm. Pasta di semola di grano duro. Okay. Yeah. Baby, I'm not gonna let you chop this stuff up. You're gonna have to eat it the right way. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. You're gonna get it down. I'm gonna turn you into a uh, spaghetti eater pure. What's that little drink that you have there? Tonic. Mm. Is that your favorite kind? You know, this is a good favorite. This is a good tonic water. This is Fever Tree Tonic. It's one of my favorites. And um, I like drinking tonic. It makes me feel like I'm drinking a cocktail. I don't drink alcohol. Or at least I'm not drinking alcohol at this moment. So when I'm in the mood for alcohol, a little tonic water, it satiates me. I don't drink soda pop. No, soda pop does not fit into rock star fuel category. I do no refined sugars, no sugar at all. I mean, you know, I do sweetener. I do a little bit of agave every once in a while, and a little pure maple syrup, um, some honey. But I even keep down on that because not that it's bad for you. It's just it kind of I'm sensitive to it. I don't do a lot of sweet stuff. For me, the biggest cheat would be some uh, gelato. Maybe we'll do that later. Maybe we'll actually go for a walk in the place and get some gelato. I'm gonna wash the eggs just for you because these are right from the farm, unwashed, straight out of the chicken's butt. But I'm not going to eat the shell, so we probably don't have to wash it. Well, you know, they say that you should wash it because if a little bit of the egg is up on the cell, shell, you know, that's why they wash the eggs. So oh. you can take them to the market. But do you know, I mean, do, do eggs come out of chicken's butts or is there an extra little Jesus. place for them to have their I eggs come out? I don't know. Well, does anybody know? I don't know. I mean, I never thought about that before. I would imagine it comes out of the, the I, chicken's vagina. The, 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 the chicken egg hole? The chicken's a vagina. Oh. oh the good. love boat. I'm gonna look that up. And my next cooking video, <laughs> we're gonna have an answer for that one. Okay. So we're getting close. All right. You definitely don't want to overcook the pasta. I read, and I'm not sure, of course, if it's true because I did not check the sources, but I read that the more al dente that the pasta is, the less, um, um, what's that thing everybody's all freaked out about right now? 
Um, gluten. That's gluten. Of course, this is obviously got a long way to go. But the more they'll down, okay? The less gluten. So, if you want to have pasta and you're gluten sensitive, then um, the best choice would be penne and to cook it very al dente. But I cook my pasta al dente anyways. I'm not gluten sensitive to the point where it's of uh, any concern. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for a little bit more and uh, we'll cook this up again All right. in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, so I believe now the pasta is cooked perfectissimo al dente. And I also found out about the chicken. The chicken has a special vent with it lays the eggs out of. And so now we know. All females have a special vent. Yes, I well, you know, now we know chickens do too. Okay? So, however, we've never it's called heard, a, I've never it's actually, called a sisterhood under the hood. I've never actually heard it referred to as a vent before, but on the internet, on three different sites, it referred to it as the egg main vent. So, <laughs> that would make it a real event now, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I got so sidetracked with my own humor. I forgot to check. Now, if some people throw these things up against the wall, I myself just like to taste it. Mmm. You know, as I thought. Okay. Go. Okay. Take a couple of these guys. I don't even know if I need them. No. There we go. Pasta al dente. Alright, pick that stuff up. Real the leftovers. A little olive oil in there. Just to make sure it doesn't stick together. Put it over here. Shake it up. Alright, we're back in the pot. Let me get away. Turn off the burner. Get my spoon. Get the spoon. Throw the pancetta. The olive oil. And the garlic. The pasta. Just like that. Mix it up. I'm going to taste it and make sure that it's uh, salted flavor. And while it's still hot, here's the secret. Let's see here. A little bit of this guy in here. Mm. Perfect. Okay. That's what we do. Crack a couple eggs. We're going to actually crack three eggs. Right in the pasta. Do you want to get a close up of that? Proof we don't mix it, we mix it in the pasta. Pasta actually cooks the egg just enough to make it the sauce. Okay. Stand back, I'll get you a plate. Oh, geez, thank you for reminding me. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Mm -mm -mm. Spaghetti carbonara alla romana alla Stuart. Piano. All right, I'm not gonna cheese grater. Here it is. Look at that, that was amazing. Found that in the first drawer. Okay. Go. Go like this. Add 
this. And we're going to put it on the plate. Yeah. That's a lot. Well, you know, they, they're pretty long, so. So I get scissors and cut it? No, no, it'll be cut. It'll be fine. There it's like an go. alien. There. Yeah, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Get you some of the juice. Can I get a spoon? I can get some of this. You see without the. Actually, I get some bacon. There we go. Plenty. Yeah? Yeah. Plenty. Just a little more. I know she says plenty, but she really needs just a little more. Oh, you don't fix the chase, I just do it. Lay it on there. Can I cheese? There you go. Parmigiano. Oh, a little more for me. I like lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. She likes a lots of cheese. I so. like lots of cheese. Is that good? Yeah, a little more. A little more? Okay. She is from St. Louis. No, I admit, I like it too. Okay, nice. Okay, so there you go. Spaghetti carbonara. And if you were in a restaurant, they do all this fancy stuff like this, right? They clean off the side of the plate. Maybe they wouldn't do it with a dirty sponge, but. <laughs> Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Would you like a little pepper on that? A little That'd pepper. That'd be acceptable. Yeah, I think I'd like a little pepper. Got no issue with that. I actually have a pasta in Rome called uh, spaghetti al pepe. There you go. Bellissimo, eh?